All right, first thing we gotta do before we put in the new motor, we got to put in a new run capacitor. We've got two screws right here you'll take out of this unit. And set this cover off. As if you can see, we need to replace this capacitor here because it's a smaller voltage with a new one. Got the power turned off on everything. Have the universal bus pulled out so there's no power here. Alright, to make things on this stuff very simple, um, here's our new capacitor. We just pop this old one out. Unplug it. Set it to the side. Plug in our new one. We'll drop it right back into the same hole. And replace the bolts. Easy peasy. I would tell you that if you're gonna before you start working on any of this stuff take a picture of it or get you a set of labels and label everything but we're just going to put these screws back into place to hold our capacitor to back down Just so everything where it needs to be. And then we'll move on to the contactor. Alright, we've got our new uh, run capacitor in. I'll show you something else that I see a lot of people doing. And uh, I am by no means an HVAC guy. Just somebody with just a little bit of common sense and probably just enough getting uh, myself in uh, trouble. But basically, when you put in your uh, new fan, it's a four wire system. The old one's a three wire system where you had two wires going to each side of the capacitor, one going to the side of the contactor. Well, on this one, you don't have no room. So, what I did. is I have pretty much it's just a splitter basically plug this into the contactor and it gives you two contact points because you'll take one wire and hook to this side of the uh, contactor and another one hooked to the other side of the contactor because you've got your main power coming in here and you just need one on each side of your contactor for your motor. And you already have this right here. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to plug this in to our contactor. Like so. Where we can hook our existing wire to the bottom like that. You can see that basically I just hooked the bottom one to there and it gives me a spade place connector for each side of my contactor now so now we just got to set the fan in and run the wires all right we set our unit back on fan unit back in top and run our wires out the little hole out the back so you've got all your wiring here 
just take your little stick, save you a little bit of trouble. Put it in there and rotate your fan. Just to make sure you're not hitting anything. The last thing you want to do is power this thing up and have something obstructed in your fan and uh, bend your blades up. Alright, we're going to lock that down and then we'll move on to the wiring part. Alright. We've got our motor in, we've got our top on, we've run our wires out. Basically your wires just go down under the around the condenser and up through the two holes in the bottom. You have a brown and white lead and a brown lead. Doesn't matter which, you just connect one to each side of your capacitor. Like so. And then you just pull the excess wire out the bottom. Then you may have to. Route your wires around to where things can be out of the way. Okay. And then your other two wires, they come with no connections on them. I just cramped the spade connector, uh, the female spade connector on here. And basically, you're just going to connect one to each end of the contactor. So. Put that one there. And that one there. You see that? Basically, put the brown on one side of the capacitor, the brown and white on the other, and then we just took the other two wires of the motor the white and the black and you just connected uh, why you want to connect them opposite of where the power the main power comes in up top up here that's where your main power comes in just go across to the bottom <clears throat> that's where we put the uh, um, little adapter on there where we could put another lead on there and we just plug both sides up to the contactor. You want to make sure that you got all your wiring out of the way. Um, I'm not going to tie all this up just yet because I want to make sure that everything runs before I button it all up. Basically, all my wiring is out of the way now. I'll take and put a wire connection right here to hold this up and then I'll just take all this other and loop it around and tie wrap it up. Just want to make sure that everything's out of the way and nothing's going to get hurt. <clears throat> and now we are ready to fire her up and see if she runs. All right, now we're gonna pop in our we're gonna pop back in our bus disconnect and see if everything works. Now we just gotta run in. Flip the go button, see if she works. 
and there we have it back running air's blowing out the top instead of sucking in now maybe we can get the top of the house cooled off